What's going on everybody? Aaron here. And today I'm doing something a little different. You know, usually with Outside the Box or Tasty Test or any of the other ones I do that are not video game related, I tend to do like an unboxing. Well, this time I'm deciding to do a Christmas haul. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been on here. Took some time off to spend time with family. Uh, to really kind of reconnect with my family because I've been just so super swamped lately with just everything. Between work, doing this, and, uh, you know, working on a house right now that I'm trying to get finished up. It has been just a stressful uh, year in all, all together. So I'm hoping 2020 will be a lot better. Uh, here's what here's what I'm, I'm uh, doing today is I'm doing an unboxing video for, or not an unboxing, but a Christmas haul. I uh, spent a couple of weeks up with my in-laws and really had a good time with them. We did a lot of great things, went to some amazing restaurants, and uh, didn't really do much sightseeing this time. Normally we do a lot of sightseeing, but this time it was more or less geared towards us having fun and spending time together, which is good. It's always good to re, re -heal, you know, heal yourself that way. So let me show off what I've got so far. So first off, been needing a new case and a good charging case for my cell phone. I finally got one. This is pretty awesome. And, uh, Let's see here. I want to show you off my new background that I put on this thing, which unfortunately all my apps are going to be in the way, but you can kind of see it there. It's the life cycle and stages and the different types of alien. I got that from a pretty cool website. thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, that's my cell phone, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get to see me use it often. Uh, as far as it goes, food-wise, first off, more Kinder Joy eggs. So, now the tasty test coming up here soon. I'm definitely gonna be doing those, and I like the design of this. It actually looks like, you know, a nice little streetscape there, and they're the same on both sides. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh no, there's a little difference there. It shows you kind of in the on the other side some of the stuff there, but you don't know what you'll get. Toys always vary, you know. I always I always like Kinder Joy eggs. Next up. A new gaming headset because I mean, you know, I the old one I have I love it to death, but this one is more up to date and has better sound quality from what I was told. So yeah, they I went and looked at the uh, specs on it. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a bad headset. Uh, it's the Tech Version G two thousand games and glittering. Obviously, I don't think English was the primary language for this to be made in. To be made in, but hey, I, I'm not complaining. It's a it's a free headset, you know, from from my in laws. I do a lot of DS gaming, so I needed. I uh, got a lot of games that I like to take with me when I play, and got a new case. This one actually holds like 21 cartridges, I think, and has a a stylus with it and all that, and a lot of storage space for like all your stuff that you're gonna need with it. So speaking of the DS, I got two DS games. First one I got was Ultra Moon. I have Moon already. So this one I was kind of excited to try this out because there's a whole lot more added to it. And I just beat Omega Ruby. Or no, Alpha Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire. My wife plays Omega Ruby. Trying to help her with that and she gets frustrated with me because I'm just like, hey, you gotta go get these legendaries. Go, go, go ahead and pick up the legendaries. They're worth it. Trust me. You need these legendaries. And Zelda Triforce Heroes. I cannot wait to play this because I just beat Oracle of Age, or not Oracle of Ages, Ocarina of Time. Wow, I'm wanting to name off every game wrong today. But I just beat Ocarina of Time, so it was a real fun experience just getting to play that and beat that. And 100% it too, which was really good for me. I don't normally 100% things. Um, Got one movie, Ready Player One. I can't wait to watch that. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't had a chance to watch this yet. Don't spoil this for me, guys. I am like super excited to see that. Uh, as far as it goes, collectible wise, I got a couple of nice little collectibles here. The first one I got here is this, and this is going on the desk here. This alien. It, so basically, is the alien hissing xenomorph an illustrated book? It comes with an illustrated book, which is okay. That's just a piece of paper behind it. But anyway, that's the book right there, and it's really detailed. Like, it has scenes from the movies and some quotes from the movie, the in the first movie. And, I mean, this is, like, 
I don't want to stretch it out too far, but there you can kind of see. I'm trying to get it to. Let me see if I can bring it a little closer. So, I mean, the detail in that's pretty good. And the xenomorph. I like this thing because. I, I love that. And I'll bring it a little closer so you can kind of see the detail there. I mean, look at that. That is really well carved out and made pretty well. So that's going over here about here over here by my keyboard. So when I get bored while I'm editing, I just play with that. I thought that was a, that was a pretty cool gift. Like I was not expecting that as one of my gifts this year. Uh, I got this new book, which I'm gonna be diving into here, Alien Covenant Origins. Uh, this kind of takes the place takes place between Alien Covenant and Prometheus. So I'm really excited to see what happened there because this really will tie up some loose ends that the movie kind of left there. And I'm not complaining about. It. I'm not a. I'm not one of those guys that finds a fault in the movie. I'll watch any movie and enjoy it. Hell, I like the room. So that says a lot. Uh, I had to. I had to. I had to put one of my controllers for my PlayStation 4 to rest the other day. It started doing that whole going to the left thing whenever you're not holding the left. So my in-laws got me a nice wireless controller for the PS4. It's not, you know, it's a it's a knockoff brand. Or not knockoff, but like a... Oh, you know, I can't really call it knockoff. It's more or less just like a second... I can't think of the word to use there, but a generic brand uh, wireless controller. I'm hoping this will work out pretty well. I put it on the list. A lot of people have, you know, and I was really excited whenever I got it because, like I said, I had to put one on hold, and I'd like to have at least one more backup just in case, you know, anything else happens to the other ones. Um, junk food. I got these Reese's Mystery uh Pieces, Reese's Mystery Shapes, and I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, so this is like a bonus here. Snowman. I love Reese's, by the way, so, you know, you ever see me, if y'all ever get to meet me and you bring me a bag of Reese's, <laughs> I'm gonna love you regardless. Hmm, that was really good. Uh, next up, I got this uh, SD Wing Gundam Zero from the SD Gundam series of models and this one I think is a I want to say this one's just an HG Gundam HG being you know high grade so it shouldn't be too difficult to put together and I'm a little excited to put this together so this might be one of my build session builds um I, and that's the box of the battery case with the instructions that I need to read to figure out how to get my phone in and out of it. Um, this bad boy down here. Oh, this is going to be heavy. I finally got me a better tool kit. Like, I've got drill bits and all that now, but most of them have been wallowed out from just... So, I don't know if you hear me talk about it a lot, but I, I am working on putting together a house right now. Um... Or not putting together, but rebuilding a house. It's an older house that will be mine eventually that I'll be living in. But until then, I've still got to try to get it fixed up. But this is very well much needed. I, I was very glad to get this out of the case because it was heavy when I got it. So I was excited to have a bunch of masonry bits and stuff like that that I will be needing. And last but not least, so I've got the Upper Deck Legendary Encounters Alien game. This connect. This actually takes Alien and puts in the Alien Queen and a whole bunch of other, like stuff from the comics, like the Alien, the Flying Alien Queen. There's 400 playable cards, all original art, a new player mat, and a full color rule book. Uh, it's one to five players, so I guess you can play by yourself. And it takes about a 30 to 60 minutes to play. So I'm a little excited to try this out. Maybe have this for a game night with some friends. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much my haul. Uh, really happy. You know, I'm not going to be one of those that complains about, oh, I didn't get this, I didn't get that. No, I'm. If, if you get me anything, I'm just going to be happy. You know, whether or not it's what I wanted or not. You know, I don't. I'm just excited for the fact that I got something. So 
Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of today's video or what you'd like to see us do next. You can click on the bell icon over, well, you can't really see, over here. And that'll keep you up to date with what we're doing. Uh, check out everybody's works. Uh, links are all linked in the description below. Uh, and uh, Noah's going to be working on a new channel here soon. As soon as he gets that going, we'll start putting the link for that up. But uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.